Fellas, 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 I, uh, y'all know how proud of the show I am, right? So there, there are moments in pop culture where something happens and I go, oh, we called it. <laughs> and I just, I just walk around and I smile and then the phone starts going off and say, yo, <laughs> yo, money. I listened to the pod a couple months ago and you mentioned this whole thing about Joe Budden and Spotify and Joe Rogan and now it's everywhere. What what the what the fuck? And I'm like, Yeah, man, this is what we do. Like it's it's big business and, and whether people choose to acknowledge it or not as such and and the inner workings and the details and all that stuff, it's a lot of shit to unpack. But before we start to unpack it, fellas, what what has been the, uh, and, and to the listeners who don't, who 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 aren't as tapped in, and had, and that news hasn't crossed um, your algorithms or your platforms, just the, the platforms that you indulge in. Um, Joe Button, the Joe Button podcast, Spotify deal is up, is a few episodes away from being up, and in the, I think there were like ten, the ten countdown from like ten episodes away from it being over, and yeah, six, six episodes left. And it's gotten tumultuous. And and I don't say tumultuous in a way of like every way everybody else is using it. I'm gonna give my man a lot more credit for being a brilliant, um, a brilliant marketing uh guru and how he's leveraging this, this he's leveraging the conversation. And it feels like he it feels like everything is coming together for Joe to really, really make his um I don't know. I don't even know what the words are. I'm proud of him though, and I've and I've been highly critical of Joe, and not from a hating standpoint, just because I'm a super fan. And so I want to give my nigga his flowers and tell him what a brilliant job he's doing. But before we get to all that, fellas, what has been your take? Lex, we'll start with you. What has been your take watching it unfold? I was gonna basically almost say around the same lane as you. Like, I know a lot of people always think Joe just gets to a point and he has to blow up his spot. Mm -hmm. But if you really do listen to the way he's explaining it, it makes sense. Mm -hmm. And it's like, he's not even blowing up the spot. He's just clearly stating like, if they gonna give Joe this, but I've been number one on your guys' thing, then pay me what you owe. Yeah. And it's really that simple. Yeah. And when I say pay me what you owe, what you owe, I don't even necessarily just mean a money value, but I, I want the leverage. You guys don't get to take everything from me and just give me this one number and then that's it. Mm. Like, I, I, I came to the table with everything and yeah. you guys barely had anything. Yeah. So I'm expecting to either we break bread evenly or I'll just take everything off the table and go somewhere else. G, G, uh, what's your been, what's been your, your, uh, your, what's been your reception of everything that's taken place, and how how much of it have, have you seen? Uh, I've seen most of it. Mm -hmm. um, I did hear, I heard, I heard the entire like Joe's point of view, mm -hmm. but uh, I think it's along the lines of, I mean, I knew this was coming, of course, uh, especially when that number, when a number hit for Joe Rogan, so yeah. I could I already predicted that yeah. there was no way in the world that when they get when they got to negotiations that anything that Spotify was gonna say would make sense mm -hmm. uh for what Joe and them are doing, whatever. Mm -hmm. So I think both sides are gonna, you know, they they, they have no choice but to separate mm -hmm. uh because of how like how much is going into like because we don't know all the behind the scenes shit. The, Joe and them are talking more about like ethics. Mm -hmm. uh, you know what I mean? And like that's something that isn't a part of business. So they're talking about it more so as if it was a friend that got you fucked up. Yeah. When in essence, none of these businesses are your friends. So yeah. um, I'm thinking of it along the lines of um, you can't give up all the shit that Spotify wanted, but I, but I think Spotify presented these op this this as an option in order for him to not choose it. Like it it was it was a no win. Like he did they didn't want to resign Joe. Mm. Like that, the, mm. like that's that's the reason why you would even say some of the shit like it, like putting putting his other uh, uh, IPs underneath the same umbrella, uh, backlogging shit. These are things that, as a creative, no, you ain't gonna take. But um, I'm not budging on my side, and that's mainly because I can't 
can get behind. Like people got to understand when it comes to business, a lot of times they, they you try to say that it's not personal or anything like that. But when you're asking for money, the re- and you're talking about being a partner, mm-hmm. there has to be a certain level of relationship where they fuck with you. Mm-hmm. So like you have to have some level of like you can't be friction all the time or be unpredictable mm-hmm. when, when you're asking for money. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? Like it's it, it, like I can see like if you're bringing money to the table, see they're they're bringing IP to the table. So that's that can, that that can be equated as money. But they're not bringing, they're not putting their own money up with Spotify in order to uh, partner up. So therefore, Spotify can just wash the fact that this is, uh, you know, the personality probably won't match with some of the suits in the room. Hmm. You know what I mean? So I think that's kind of more of the angle is that the personality of Joe is not going to match up with whatever like Spotify is doing because he doesn't want to play any part of the game. And in that, if that's the case, you know, if you if you want to be like the uh, first one to the party, or um, you, you think that you know, like everything it is that has to do with like uh, with podcasting, which he does know a shit to- a shit ton of it. So if that's the case, and you're wanting like like when he talks about, I'm sorry, I'm going all over the place, but um, when he talks about the reason why they didn't originally sign with Title is because he went to Jay. And he wanted to see the he wanted to see the uh, the analytics, mm-hmm. and Jay was like, no. And he's like, that's the reason why he didn't go with them. Mm-hmm. But then he signed with Spotify. Spotify wasn't about to give you the analytics, so why did you sign with Spotify? We just we just got done talking. Sorry, to, I'll let you get back, but we just got done talking about yeah. Netflix and them not letting their competitors see what they're what they're using as their their analytics to determine value for them. And it's yeah. it's it's the most it's the most valuable asset that any of these that any of these companies have. That's you know, it. That's yeah. that's what this whole thing is. Like that's the only way that you can leverage any level of money or um, any level of invest investment in you mm-hmm. is that you can you can always present uh, you can always present something that makes it look a lot better than what it actually is. Yeah. Until until it may, every once in a while it may look like that. It may yeah. look like roses every once in a while. You know, yeah. it might look like a big ass cake sometimes. You know yeah. what I mean? So that's what they're leveraging this entire time when you're talking about tech. But if you want to get the in the analytic portion of things, you want somebody just to tell you, then that's that's not realistic, buddy. Yeah, yeah. yeah that, not, um, nobody can give you that. Yeah, and I and I and I I, I total I one hundred percent appreciate that 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 uh, that perspective, G. Like I, I can't I can't tell you how much I do. Um, mm-hmm. I think I think as a as as a as a as a creative through and through, who is who has tried similar tried similar feats. Honestly, modeled after Joe's model because I've seen I saw his brilliance early. Like when he just start picking up that that fucking that home video camera and just start filming his life and putting it up as episodes and and something is, TV is, is classic. Man, something as simple yeah. as him and his homies playing Monopoly, being being that entertainment, being that entertaining. Him and Slaughterhouse being him and Tahiri's whole relationship, bro. Being in inter <laughs> entertaining, you know, and uh, and then. In the, in the midst of that, we get Mood Music 2 and 3, and then, and then the Slaughterhouse shit starts to come, Escape Brood and Paddock Room. All these things are happening with the music, and you're like, damn, all this shit is going to align one day for this dude if he can mm-hmm. figure it out. And the podcast, it worked. Like, it, mm-hmm. it, 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 it worked in terms of everything coming together, the, 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 the complex... The complex the complex uh, personality that is Joe Budden, but the brilliant personality that is Joe got a got okay. a got okay. got two and a half hours a week in the beginning to sort of offer proper context to who he is, and then Spotify gives him the deal. Now you got now you got two episodes a week to let people get to to hate, love, admire, envy, like all like like all 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 parts of Joe got to be on display. And I know people that I know people that that despise the show in the beginning and love the show now. I know people that love the show in the beginning, hate the show now. Like it's it's been all over the place, but it's a true sign um, of a of a successful business model. And and when you bank when you bank on something that's this new, that's this un, that's this untainted, because it, it podcasting has not been tainted quite yet. It's close, very very fucking close to being completely tainted the way 
film and television and radio uh, and the music industry are. It's really close. Um, when you, when you, the, I, I, and, and perhaps you fellas have experienced this, but I, I've had this happen to me. Let me, let me, let me not generalize for our listeners. Let me give a real number so I can put it in proper perspective. I have now had this exact thing happen to me exactly I'm going to I'm going to say I'm going to say 30 plus times cuz those cuz those I can remember 30 of them off the top of my head. I was thinking about it uh yesterday uh or Friday talking to Raj and, and Kev about this. I've had it I've had it happen to me 30 plus times sitting in meetings presenting ideas that have that have now taken off and and are being executed in the same companies are executing a similar idea that I've presented. I can't I can't be mad at those people. I didn't have I didn't have lawyer, legal in place. I didn't have I didn't have resources. I didn't have a lot of things in place that would have protected uh, my ideas that I wanted to execute. So I'm not mad at anybody. I'm not pointing a finger. Um, but what I will say, when when a company as big as Spotify, when a company as big as Title, um, shit, when a company as big as Apple, when when you when you when you beat them. There, there's some, there's something. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna assume. Excuse me. When you beat them, I'm going to assume that there's a part of you that go that just, that just takes a deep breath as a creative that's fought your entire career for what's right. And with the show, with the, with the, with the fans, like forget anything else. The amount of people that Joe was able to take from both SoundCloud and both Apple Podcasts and come knock on the door of Spotify, be like, yo, we here. And then the first day, you niggas run out of food. Oh, y'all didn't, y'all didn't, y'all didn't know. We told you we was coming. Y'all played us. You didn't prepare for the party. And so now you caught with your pants down and but we don't look bad because our fans is gonna press y'all. Yeah, well, they should have. That first that first day couldn't have gone any better. And we I remember talking about that too. That first day of the Joe Budden podcast being on Spotify couldn't have gone any better. To have their system crash, to have them not be able to handle the influx of listeners. That's just one portion of it though. Now you get to the acquisition of other networks, not other shows. And I think that's the part of the conversation that's being missed for people especially Charlemagne. Charlemagne is hanging his hat on, well, Joe ain't a network, he's just one show. Cool. But when you acquire an entire network and that entire network you tried to acquire still can't beat the one show, that's that's just, just value. When, and we're talking about the top niggas, we're talking about Bill Simmons, we're talking about Joe, we're talking about people that's doing numbers. And what they, and what they keep trying to feed to the urban demographic is like our dollar ain't as valuable as everybody else's. That's bullshit. They do it in they do it in retail. They do it in they do it in fucking wholesale. They do it ac- across the across the board. In these marketing in these departments, when they're doing their market research or when they're doing their control groups and all this stuff, the control groups hardly ever look like us. But we the ones that buy their fucking product. We the ones that buy the Nikes. We the ones that buy the Adidas. We the ones that 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 listen, that consume content and shit. And and no one in these marketing meetings look like us. And so therefore the products aren't being marketed to us. And we're constantly left out of the sphere of the economics. And I think why I'm proudest of Joe, because he stands to, like he said, it's more money than he's ever even dreamed of. And he's ready to walk away from it on the principle of like, yo, this shit's got to stop somewhere. And, and I'm be honest, I'm be honest, and for as for as proud of him as I am, my 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 biggest worry is that is that our our community is our community is still suffering to the point to where others won't stand in solidarity with, with his fight. And we're gonna get to the NBA bubble in a minute. So I got smoke for all them niggas too. 
but we've seen it with the music industry. We've seen it with art as, as a whole. Um, hey man, we can't just give our music away for free. Hey man, we just can't sign for pennies. Meanwhile, there's a starving artist that lives down the block from you that's like, fuck what you talking about money. I gotta go get mine and undermine the whole shit. Now my fight ain't the same no more. Pod podcasters do not, do not allow these DSPs to ruin something that's so pure. I thought I thought Joe was making brilliant points with the Amy Schumer shit. He just didn't hit one point. He didn't drive one point home for me. And that is the brilliance of the podcast audience. Think about our audience, fellas. They got to sit through some sh They got to really fuck with us to sit through an entire episode of us just ranting and raving. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, so all that to say, it, the people who want to be here are here. So when Joe's bringing you fans, when Joe, when Joe Budden's bringing you fans, when Joe Rogan's bringing you fans, when Mark Marin is bringing his fan base, um, when the uh, it's when it, it's real is bringing when Juan Epstein, God bless Combat Jack, when he's bringing when, uh, shout out to Mo Green, things about Green, when they're bringing you uh, special delivery, when they're bringing you their base, forget what scale, forget how many people there are, the people that they're bringing you really really fuck with this. And what brands like Spotify continue to miss is you can't fake culture, bro. You can't fake this shit. Yes. And you keep trying to you keep trying to purchase it and 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 acquire it as opposed to empower the niggas that can partner with you and have this shit lit for real. It's not just them, it's a lot of companies doing this goofy shit like that. As we got a Spotify symbol sitting on our logo too. Shout out to us. We're dope. Um <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, but I like I, I do like the fact though that they're it's, it's not the end all be all. You no, know what I mean like no. we're not we're not in a day and age where you need like you specifically just need Spotify Thanks. or you specifically just need Apple. You know what I mean? Like it's not well you kind of Apple is everybody got Apple, but it's just a matter of like you you don't specifically need these type of outlets. There's plenty of outlets, right? And people are trying to compete. Like there's tech, there's there's tech people right now that's trying to create a very a version that is very specific yes. uh, to some of the stuff that's going on because there's so much like there's so many people flooding to podcasting it's crazy yes, yes. like it's, it seems like everybody has a podcast yeah. you know what I mean so like there there's so many people flooding to it so of course there's gonna there's gonna keep fine tuning it so it's just a matter of just like sticking to it but like I like money was saying though that is true. That is true, because people, it's going to be folks out here that just take the first bag that comes their way, and it's because it's, it's, it's a bag that was thrown at them that they never seen before. Mm -hmm. and especially, I, especially if you're an artist, if you're an artist that has been in the game for a while, yeah. and you haven't gotten the respect in like you're in the art, in the art field that you are in, Yeah, but in this, you have a following that sticks a little bit more. So that level of attention and love is a lot. You can't really equate that across the board. So yeah, there's, it's easy to fall in line with, you know, with just agreeing with what people tell you on some of these things. So I, I, I get what you're saying. Yeah, um, and I also, just for to offer proper uh, perspective for our listenership and how valuable um, their listens are, um, how long you listen, um, um, how, how, you, how you listen, how you engage, how you rate, like, comment, and share, um, and repost. All of that information is being taken by a company like Spotify and used in these meetings to leverage an insane amount of money for the sake of advertisement. 